Greetings Earthlings and welcome back. My name is Casey if you are new here. I want to chat about confidence today. I'm also going to be doing my makeup so this is going to be like a get ready with me slash chatty chit chat chatty chit chat. <laughs> I'm gonna take my wet and wild sponge. I recently picked this up and I like it a lot. It's super soft I really like this flat edge here. I've been loving this sponge and I think I paid like Two dollars or something for it. Cheap. Uh, for my foundation. I'm gonna use The makeup forever HD I'm just gonna dot that on On this journey of mine, uh, I live really close to like an Air Force base, so there's going to be um, lots of airplane noises. We need to own our story. And before you own it, sometimes we have to, you know, rewrite the story because We believe pretty much everything we tell ourselves and not every thought is a true thought. Um, a lot of our thoughts are actually very false, you know, so it's important to do some reflecting and say, okay, what is the story that I've written for myself and how can I rewrite this story to better support myself? I'm using, and I've been loving this stuff, this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer and I'm gonna put that right here on my cheeks. Honestly guys, we just gotta get out of our own way. You know, we cannot be in flow, we cannot be successful. When you get out of your own way which is you know one of my main practices in life right now because i've been in my own way for so long that's why i feel so passionate about conversations like this because when you're in your own way not only are you doing a disservice to yourself but you're also doing a disservice to others i've learned that it's okay if everyone doesn't like you it's fine if someone doesn't like my hairstyle if someone doesn't like your hairstyle if someone doesn't like what I'm wearing how I dress you know they can go they can go and find someone else you know whether it's your Instagram feed and you're trying to get that perfect or um, you're trying to create a perfect uh, household routine or a home routine don't be afraid to be a hot mess don't be afraid to share your hot mess because I think on this journey you know I can say for myself I have definitely been able to tap into my own confidence because of other women sharing their mess and getting back up. Next, I'm going to contour. I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna. This is like a little tiny one. I think this is part of their holiday collection. I love this bronzer uh, to contour with. So, no, I've really found that when you are truly yourself, the right people are gonna show up. is it right here where I contour which is like my least favorite place to get a zit it happens we're gonna get through it everything we do everything we create comes from a thought comes from our mind and women we are such feelers you know we we spend a lot a lot of time saying like, oh, I feel this way, or I feel that way, or call your best friend, I feel sad, I feel angry. We feel our way through most of our day, and we forget to say, I think, 
So it's basically like if confidence is an emotion, our thoughts create our emotions. It's really, really important that you pay attention to the thoughts, especially the thoughts that you are having about yourself and who you are. For me personally, on my journey, I definitely have had moments in my life where I didn't feel good enough. I um, had a very, very negative self talk. Today I'm feeling confident. I don't always feel this way. It's definitely a practice. You have to practice this emotion and you really have to change your thoughts, your belief system, your, your beliefs about yourself um, and catch yourself. I catch myself all the time and it's really shifted my mindset. Um, if you're not aware of the things that you're telling yourself and, and you're not aware of the thoughts that you are allowing in to your space and, and which create your reality um, it's really gonna be hard for you to get to the other side of confidence so every time you say you know I'm not gonna be successful or I can't do this or um, I'm your reality is heavily heavily impacted by those thoughts contour my nose real quick and you know I really suggest and I would love for you guys to you know do this little exercise that I have for you it's been life-changing for me and that is getting a journal write down your thoughts so every morning after I journal I'll read the previous day or last week or a month, even a month ago okay what are the top three thoughts that are really fucking with me right now and I like to kind of reflect and see, oh, okay, this thought, these thoughts, this specific thought is a pattern. You know, I see this a lot in my journal. And then you can really gain some control there when you see like, okay, this is what um, is holding me back. So definitely write down your thoughts and your feelings. Next, I'm going to go ahead and apply my highlight. This is the Catkin uh co2 highlight i've been using this highlight non-stop it is so so beautiful um but yeah really get familiar with your thoughts don't be so hard a lot of people say like what does stay soft mean and you know for me personally on my journey just loving myself not being so hard and it basically is just like being kind to yourself I'm gonna use a fan brush to apply this highlight and confidence. Oh my god, I love this highlight so much. It doesn't always feel great. Sometimes, you know, it feels really shitty. And in my 20s, I was really, you know, I mean, I was confident to others. I was really well, or I was really good at faking confidence in my 20s. And, you know, the older I get, the more you, you just don't wanna fake it anymore. You know, you, you you hear fake it till you make it. I just wanted to make it. If you are expecting to be this confident person and for it to be easy, you're wrong. Because to get to confidence, it is a bumpy road. And it's a shit show. I do see someone that's confident. I know we all have people in our lives that were like, dang, I wish I could be more confident like Tiffany or like Jerry. I really want you guys to know that any confident person that you ever see, uh, they went to war for that confidence. All right, I'm gonna put some color back into my face. I'm gonna use the Catkin blush. Um, I really love these Catkin products. They sent some to me for me to try and I'm just like, not only is the packaging just incredibly beautiful, but the quality of products are just, they're so good. Um, this blush is beautiful check it out so so pretty and I'm just gonna pop that between the two sometimes I do my blush before my highlight but lately I've been liking doing my blush after in order to experience confidence you have to you have to be willing to experience um, guilt <laughs> shame lots of shame you're gonna have to be able to feel a lot of unpleasant things you have to be willing to fuck up you have to be willing to fall down in front of everyone you have to be willing to look stupid to look you know to look silly and you have to show up in that way and even getting picked on getting bullied getting made fun of again like i said it is not pretty it's not going to be pretty 
And I know this one is really hard for a lot of us, but you have to be willing to be wrong. And then you have to be willing after all that to keep going. And I know that this is really hard for a lot of us because we want people, you know, people want to be liked. We want, we want to be liked. We want to be accepted. We want to um, feel like, you know, we're a part of something. We want to feel like we're doing it right. Again, to get to confidence, you, you can't have all those things. A lot of people are uncomfortable with being wrong. A lot of people are uncomfortable with um, shame. A lot of people are uncomfortable, you know, with, again, the shit show. If you're not willing to experience that, um, you're not gonna experience confidence. Next, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna take the Benefit Browsings Pro Palette. This is a medium deep. The moment I was able to stop running from things that I was ashamed of, uh, you know, I accepted that friends, family aren't always going to get what I'm doing and, and that's okay. I mean, I had to be willing to have friends look at me different, have family look at me different. Um, and a lot of people are like, I don't want to feel those feelings of shame, guilt, embarrassment, I don't want to feel that, then you don't want to be confident. <laughs> and if you are willing to, you know, look at your story, own it, go through guilt, get honest with yourself, then confidence is, it's already on its way to you right now. <laughs> That takes practice, you know? I have days where I'm not soft with myself, you know? And I, I have these huge doubts and they come up for me and they affect my flow, they affect my business, they affect um, me as a parent, me as a friend, you know? I have, I still have those moments, but the gap is so much shorter, you know, as to where before I would go weeks without being confident. And now it's just like, I have moments and the more you practice, the shorter, you know, that gap gets. I have more confident days now than I do um, not confident days, you know, and not believing in myself. So once you get in that flow and the more you practice, um, I mean, that's all that really matters is just coming back. I'm definitely a lot more confident than I've ever been. And it took a lot of doubting myself to get here and now that I'm here I'm in this space of like I have no more time to doubt myself I have no more time for that <laughs> this is the benefit ready set brow gel I love this stuff so so much it's literally like hairspray for your brows if you're not willing to fall over, if you're not willing to fuck shit up a bit, you have to be willing to fall over, get back up, and keep going. You have to keep going. Take action every day. Even if it's super, super small, taking action is going to it's like practicing confidence because what happens when we don't take any action on anything at all we there's space for oh i can't do this i can't do that oh i'm not good enough you know there's too much space for that talk to come in and then you don't take action and then there's no confidence you know it's so important that you take action to build confidence and then once you go for too long without taking action you create this whole story in your head and you get upset about how long the gap is that you haven't taken action so just every day do something small do shit with purpose basically when you do take an action do it with some kind of purpose and confidence, confidence, I love this lip color by the way. The more action you take, the more confidence you are going to gain and you are going to fall 
flat on your face. And guess what? You have to keep going. Because confidence isn't something we own, right? We can't go to Target and buy confidence and then we own it. It's not something you can buy. It's just something that you can practice and that's it. You fall flat on your face again. Oh, oh my God, I'm so worthless. And every single time you think you found confidence, life will, will <laughs> it takes a lot of courage especially for us people that you know want to be better and we really want to conquer our thoughts and our feelings and i wish i could i wish i could sit here today and be like it's gonna be easy and like no it's gonna it's hard it is it's hard to face your fears it's hard and it can be scary to make choices when you don't necessarily know the outcome all right next i'm gonna do mascara so i really want you guys to ask yourselves like why why do i care what others think i have to ask myself that too I fuck what others say like fuck the idea of the opinions of others having this major effect on me and my worth no one is ever going to know you like you know you um People think they know me, but I'm like, I don't even know me. How do you know me? I'm still figuring out who the fuck I am. Like how, how you can't, people can't know you. I was actually just having this conversation with a friend. Like we have new skin every four weeks and every couple of years we have a whole new skeletal bone system. Like we are not the same. We're not the same people. We're new all of the time. And I think that's the beautiful thing realizing on, you know, to realize on this journey but my hopes are for you if you take anything from this video today is, is to be okay with other people getting you wrong because they're gonna get you wrong you get you wrong you know I could sit here and tell you oh just be you but it's just like a lot of us don't know who the fuck we are and to be honest we're always growing and changing so you know if, if you're trying to figure out who you are there's no way that someone else could possibly know who you are people are gonna get you wrong and you just have to be okay with it we have to like rewire our mindset allow yourself to be cool with other people judging you allowing yourself to be misunderstood you have to allow yourself to be cool with other people getting you wrong at the end of the day people are gonna have opinions and they're gonna have thoughts about you that we can't change that we cannot change other people's opinions and thoughts we lose so much energy worrying about what other people are gonna think or say and we lose our power so I guess my main message is you know work on you be willing to stand in your own skin and your own body where you're at exactly where you're at right now and work on that nobody i don't care if it's your husband your wife your mom your sister your brother nobody is going to be good with you the way you can be good with you are you good with you i'm learning how to gather my thoughts and how to um get my message and <laughs> the point across clearly if you have any takeaways or if you want to add to this leave a comment down below i am very social on instagram on twitter i did delete my snapchat i don't know if i'll ever go back i just feel i'll, I'll do a whole different video on the snapchat thing i don't want to like get off track my camera's gonna die i have to go get my kids so um thank you guys so much for watching this um hit that notification bell so you guys are notified when i upload new videos because i'm going to have lots of new content coming for you guys i know i haven't been super consistent but i will always forever upload content on this channel because i'm just so passionate about um life and just what i'm learning on this journey and you know continuing to do makeup and learning how to collide all of these other things um all these area other areas of life that fascinate me and that i'm passionate about if you guys want to help share my message share this video with a friend that would be super super helpful super cool or just like it shows me that you care and i just want to leave you with this last message let them be wrong about you because they're gonna get you wrong. Let them. And until next time, peace.